Hello? We've just landed in Krakow literally 20 minutes ago, picked up at the airport. Within 20 minutes, I'm at a brewery. Protsapia Piva with Thomas. Hi, Thomas. Hi. Um, Welcome. Very handy being 20 minutes away from uh, the airport. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, this brewery, uh, it's a year old. Yeah. Uh, already expanding. Do you want to show me around? Welcome. So here are your, 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 your vessels then. For the beer. Uh, fermentation tank. Sorry, I must translate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fermentation tanks over here, yeah. Fermentation tanks. As you can see, CO2 there. Why not? I love that. That's the first thing I noticed when I walked in. Uh, what's, what's next? What do we have next? We're going to go to the conditioning tank. It's a two and a half percent ABV beer. It's a Polish light beer. Um, would you talk a little bit about it's a, Polish it's, 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 a, it's a dark version of the light Grodziska beer. Uh, basically, Grodziska is a, it's a, it's an old style Polish beer uh, that's made a comeback, I guess, in the last year or so. And this is basically comeback's experiment, invention, uh, of the dark version of it. Fantastic. Bit of, bit of smoke malt in there. Let's uh, are we going through. Yep. Here's the bottle in line. Here. All hand bottled. <laughs> All hand bottled. Great place. Great place. Look at this. There's nothing better than fresh beer at a brewery. I cannot explain that enough. When you taste beer at a brewery, it's like tasting no other beer. There you go, look at that. Do you want me to get some for you as well? Please. Keep that running, shall we? Yeah. There you go. Fresh beer, look at that. Look at the conditioning on that. You've got a little bit more beer in your <laughs> <laughs> I was told by um, an old British brewer at Wells and Young's, probably about four years ago, that the tighter the bubbles, the smaller the bubbles, the better the beer. And there's no smaller bubbles yeah. than, than this is there. They, they, are, they are lovely, they're tiny. There, there are no bubbles. <laughs> no bubbles at all. Um, I think what we'll do, we'll probably walk through. Yep. So it's a little bit quieter for the camera. Okay, so um, talk me through the beer then. Should we get the aroma? Yes, we'll, Tom, Tom, we'll, Tom, we'll talk and then I'll translate. Uh, aroma? Aroma. Uh, Chocolate, uh, light uh, coffee, mm. and uh, smoked with uh, orc. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And yourself, you get that, that lovely smokiness. And I've got to be honest, before I taste the beer, this seems like the perfect beer for me. When you've been on, the, on, a, on an aeroplane, that kind of dryness you get on the throat from the air conditioning, when they, when they said you're going to have a 2.5% beer, it was like, oh yeah, this, this is going to be the perfect beer for me to start off with, so... Oh yeah, that's lovely. Really light, really refreshing. Nice sweet maltiness on the back end. Very, very light, no, no uh, too big hop. No. No bitterness, very smooth. And very very smooth. And, smoke. And, and the chocolate and the caramel and that smoke malt really do kind of, it, it, it's in the middle of the taste for me to begin with and in the middle and then a lovely sweetness on the back end. Mm. Really good. Just have to knock it on. 
just what I needed after a long flight from uh, from London. Um, okay, what's next? What's okay. what's next? We prepare glass. Okay, one one moment. Okay. Great. Okay, so I believe we got something special. Two Dragons yes. Wheat IPA. Why have you called it Two Dragons? Uh, because when I uh, first time made this beer, my wife. Uh, uh, Favorite. Yes, uh, twins. You made the twins? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> let's celebrate, let's celebrate, let's get this beer out. An American Wheat IPA style. Sounds great. And it's amazing, well, you, you've been open a year, and this is the extent of Polish craft beer. It's in a kind of a whirlwind at the moment. It's growing all the time. Uh, been open a year, already expanding. Um, and I love, to see, I love to hear that, when, when a brewery is expanding very, very quickly. It just means, well, it's a good sign. It's a very good sign. It's a very good sign. Okay, okay here we go. Twin Dragon. Cheers. Cheers. Like this. Cheers. Okay, beer in the glass again. Nice, tightly compacted bubbles. If I rock the beer back and forth, you can see them little bubbles chasing the, the beer up the side of the glass. Great, great condition into the beer. It looks like a wheat beer. Let's get the aroma. It's got a white head. Ah, and yeah, American hops, loads of American hops. Cascade? Uh, no. No. Chinook and Centennial. Chinook and Centennial, and bottom is coriander. You know? Yes, and coriander. coriander. It smells good. I'm going to dive in. And with a Camille flower. Camille. Camille. Chamomile flower? Chamomile. Yeah. Oh, chamomile, mm. sorry. Oh, yeah. Them American hops shine, don't they? They really shine. But you, you get that hoppy floralness of the chamomile and the coriander. But yeah, for me, lovely, wheaty. Big finish again to the beer, but in the middle, going back into the middle of the taste, American hops galore. Lovely business, but not too. It's a nice balanced beer, isn't it? It's not crazily hopped. No, no, it's a no, no, nice no. It's balanced. Very balanced yeah, it's very, yeah. This style is very balanced. Mm. Okay, what are we going to try next? Okay. Trying out Mr. Hard, which is a barley wine. Mr. Hard barley wine. Mr. Hard barley wine. Okay, so what's the ABV on this one? Ooh, uh, after stomach. Stomach, what's the alcohol on this one? About 10%. 10%. 10%. Can we have a little look at this pouring? Okay. That. Just. Thank you. I haven't tried this one yet. Mr. Hard barley wine. Love a good barley wine. I'm not sure if I've had a barley wine yet since I've been to Port. Have I reviewed I the barley wine? I think Tomek is the first one to make the brewery barley wine, if I'm correct. Oh, okay. This is oh, an exclusive, an exclusive uh, oh, this for the channel. Poland's first, first, barley wine. First, first, first in Poland barley wine. Poland's first barley wine. Look at this. Well. Cheers, guys. First cheers, of all, cheers. it's good to it's good to kind of break boundaries, isn't it? Again. Great head. This one tan coloured, as you probably would expect with all the malt that's gone into this one. Nice golden coloured beer. Again, rock that beer back and forth. Look at them slow moving bubbles chasing the beer of the glass. Gotta get the aroma on this golden coloured ale. Oh and it's almost a warming aroma, isn't it? It's almost you you kind of it's a sweetness, it's a, it's a warming, you got a little touch of alcohol and it makes you, it draws you to the beer and it makes you want to drink it. So, so let's dive into this one. Oh. 
Well, that's a fantastic barley wine, Thomas. Thank you. That is absolutely fantastic. All the characteristics of a very, very good barley wine there. Um, I like that little bit of an alcohol kick. I think a beer at 10%. It shouldn't shy away from, from the alcohol, it shouldn't try and hide it at all. I think it should be big and bold and say, you know, don't drink me too quick. I yes, do like that one there. Yeah, um, I like, there's a nice sweetness to the beer. Big and malty. And it's nice and bitter. Is it American hops in this one? Uh, no, uh, no, English hops. English hops. Uh, English. It's, it's got a nice fruity bitterness to it. Led me to believe maybe an American hop, but no, yeah, no. very good, very good. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Even the Welsh, we got American hops on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Had Barley Wine, that is really, really good. If you're watching in Poland, try it out. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.